One might notice that there is a kind of uh, a crisis of uh, social science and humanities, and part of that would be certainly formal or informal political education or education in the politics. In a way, uh, in particular in the regional perspective, but not only that, uh, politics with capital P losing its significance, I think that we might be seeing in some older paradigma of being politicians, doing the politics, or acting politically. As a professor at the political science department and dealing with a number of the institutions, uh, educating in a politology or a political science in wider or less uh, uh, a narrowing sense, I might say that imperative today is more than ever to critically think about politics, critically think about uh, a, a new approach, how politics can be and should be or either whether should be addressed in academic discourse. And finally, what I think in particularly try to see in this uh, so-called post-sovereignty era try to see whether and to what extent politics is really corresponding to something that we call the public, again with the capital P. What I think is uh, important to see that unfortunately popular opinion or public opinion, again, leave aside uh, a different approaches how we might define that, is unfortunately not anymore a subject of politics. So we need to somehow think about rehabilitating politics in very different ways and uh, try to realize that in this period of crisis, which is obviously the global one, a new fresh approach needs to come and this new fresh approach can all be, only be done jointly with the newer generations but also those who are uh, spending enormous time and period and experience researching these things.